Hi friends, Sarah here with The Holy Mess. This is the Faith Over Fear series, day 27, 27. Uh, we've had 27 days together, every single day, having a devotion, which has been so beautiful and wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. I am sitting outside today as I'm recording this. It's a gorgeous Saturday morning. Last time I attempted to record a video outside, I ended up with like huge trucks, making all kinds of noise. But um, I just had to risk it because it's so beautiful this morning and I wanted to enjoy this time sitting out on my front porch with you as we look at God's Word. So today's passage is from 2 Corinthians 4, 16 through 18. We read some earlier pa uh, verses in this cha same chapter yesterday, but it's so good I had to get some more in. So this is 2 Corinthians 4, 16 through 18, and it says, Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. So listen to these these words from God. We do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles. <laughs> I don't know about you, but my troubles in the moment do not feel light and do not feel momentary. They feel huge. They feel heavy. They feel like these really tough burdens. I have to share with you today um, a story about my son, my son Josiah. He is about to graduate from high school, and um, as we are recording these videos, as we are going on right now, we are in the middle of a quarantine, the COVID situation, and he will not be having a high school graduation in the ways that we had anticipated. In just a few days is when he was going to graduate. He would have a baccalaureate, his you know, senior awards, there was no prom, um, so many things, and we're even looking at you know the summer is going to be totally different will he even be able to go to college in the fall in person we don't know and um, that's tough those are very tough things it doesn't feel like a light burden it feels like a heavy burden it feels hard as we all are dealing with this um, tough situation but I was thinking back today to his very first day of high school. We had just moved here to New York. We lived in Colorado. We did ministry there for 16 years and had just recently moved to New York. It was a really big decision for us where he would go to high school. He is very gifted in math, and we wanted to make sure that he was challenged. And so we looked at all different schools. We were trying to decide which school district to move into, and we finally chose that he would go to a private Catholic Jesuit high school in downtown Buffalo and um, very different our other kids went to public school he had gone to public school now he was going to be wearing a shirt and tie the requirement is shirt and tie and belt and dress shoes every single day um, a certain haircut you know all of this and um, at the time we had just moved here we were living in a tiny little apartment like 600 square feet for all of us and I have five kids and um, uh, he was going to ride the city bus. He rides the city bus to school. And so he and I mapped out the route and we were all ready to go. And his first day of high school, we thought we had the bus schedule figured out. And I rode with him for his first day. And we also only had one car at the time. And we read the bus schedule wrong and he was late. So we are riding the bus in downtown Buffalo and the minutes are ticking by and it feels like the bus is going slower and slower and slower as he's late for his first day of school. We get to the school and he's got his shirt and his tie and it's summer and he's sweating and he's got his trombone and his bag and I'm with him and this school, I'll post pictures below, it looks like a huge old castle, this gorgeous school with these huge blue doors that you go in to the school. We get there, it's completely silent. Everybody's already gone in for their first day of school. This is his first day where he doesn't know anyone. He's the new kid, his first day of high school, new to the place and I just wanted to cry I wanted to sit down and hug him and hold him like I did when he was a little baby but you know when your kids in high school you can't do that so 
and ended up we went in together he went to class I went to the dean explained the situation I took the trombone where it needed to go for band practice and um he made it <laughs> and I did cry on the way home on the city bus on my way home from school I felt so bad that that was his first day of high school but he has since gone on and had a wonderful high school experience he has learned so much he's taken college math he will be going to college in the fall um, studying computer programming and it was a um, just a great four years for him so um, God had a plan with all of that but I can tell you that at the time my troubles did not feel light. My burden felt heavy. It felt very overwhelming. And I share that with you because whatever burdens you are going through today, I know they feel heavy, whether it's due to the coronavirus situation and quarantine, if it's something completely different, if it's your weight. Um, oh, and I have to share with you too, I read from the NIV, the King James Version and the ESV, when they translate this, translate it as the eternal weight of glory. And that just cracked me up because it's it's weight, the word weight in a positive way. And so many times we talk about our weight and we think of it in a negative way. So I just wanted you to know that when you get to heaven, that word weight is going to have some positives to it. So you can look forward to that. But I want you to think about where you are right now in your life on a timeline. Like you would have a timeline we as Christians know that we have eternity in heaven with God, eternity. So our whole entire life on earth is actually really going to be like just this tiny, tiny speck on the timeline. And what you're going through right now is like even tinier, tiny, tiny speck, like what you could only see with a microphone or with a, um, uh, um, I'm, I'm blanking on the word, but I think you know what I'm trying. Microscope. There we got it. <laughs> A microscope. So even though your problems might seem really big today, and that's not to say that that's not legitimate, when you look at it in the whole timeline of eternity, it's very small. And that's what these verses are telling us. It says, for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but what is unseen. Remember Remember that eternity when your problems seem so big and the weight of them seems so heavy. Remember that it's but a tiny speck and we fix our eyes on what is eternal. All right, my friends, have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for following along with this series and I will see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye-bye.